What is up guys, Pring here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean the Kyrie Sixes. I'm just gonna keep it very short and simple, but um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So what you're gonna need is you're just gonna need dish soap. Any color will do, clear, green, blue, red. I don't know what colors they make, but like any color, any type of dish soap will work, any brand. It could even be hand soap, to be honest with you. Um, obviously you need some water and some towels. You can use a toothbrush. I just using this crab protect brush and a container to put your water and soap in. And of course your shoe. Now I wore these like one time only in the snow and stuff. So they're not super, super dirty. They're not really dirty, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to clean it. This does work. And if it works for you, please like this video and comment down below. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, so first just pour your water right into the your container. It can even be uh, sink water too, it doesn't matter. Next, just take your soap. This, just to let you guys know, you can use any color soap. I know I mentioned that already, but you can, it won't like dye your fabric a different color if you have like a lighter color. Or just a little bit will do, not much. Dish soap is really, gets really bubbly. And then just mix it around with your brush a little bit. And then you can lay your towel out on your counter or whatever, wherever you're doing this. But, um, so first I'm gonna start, I'm gonna clean the soles on the bottom. I'm just gonna kinda put that over there. I'm just gonna have this hour here, so. I'm just gonna start scrubbing. You can do it, this also helps with like, if you're, you're playing basketball, um, this real, if you clean the sole with this, it really improves traction and it's always good to clean your soles before a basketball game because you get way better grip. I just do circular motions, works best for me. Um, but it is a rubber outsole, so it really doesn't matter if you do back and forth or circular motions or however you want. But um, if it's not bubbling, then you probably have to add more soap. All right, and then once you have it like that, you could pat it dry with your towel. And then what I would do, I would go to your sink and rinse out all the soap from the bottom because you don't want that soap in there when you're playing basketball. It makes you really bad, trust me. So just go to your sink and rinse it out. I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I rinsed it out, most of it. So the rest, the remainder of bubbles in there, just kind of dry it out, pat it dry and stuff. All right, I'm gonna show you how to clean the uppers now, like this mesh area and this area right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your brush I'd kind of like get all the water out of the brush and stuff so you don't like soak the fabric, but it doesn't matter. So, and then I do circular motions on this mesh area right here because it's, you don't want it to tear or anything. So light circular motions. Just like that and it should suds up really nice and you could just wipe it, wipe it down. Just like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the this suede area or nubuck, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this is a little bit different. So you take your brush, don't make sure it's not a hard bristle brush. You want it soft or else you'll start tearing it and fraying it. So you get all the water out and scrub, don't scrub. One, you, you brush in one motion, one motion only. And if you do need to and it's really dirty, you can do circular motions really lightly but mainly just one motion so you don't mess it up. If you do have a super soft brush, I mean, you can do a little bit back and forth, but if you have a stiff bristle brush, I do circular motions or straight, just like that. And then you could just pat it dry, wipe it dry, pat it dry, whatever you prefer, just like that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you clean the Kyrie sixes. This works for any colorway, any color at all. And uh, if this worked, please leave a like and please comment down below. I'd like to see your guys' feedback. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this and more videos in general. And uh, yeah, this is Preem. Peace out.